Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to learn about uh, another built-in function called uh, eval, short for evaluate. So, alright, we're going to do what we do. Uh, we're going to think about um, taking in, let's say right here, we know that Python can just completely take this and evaluate it. So, okay. What happens if we want to build a function and we want to do the same thing? Use our input function, enter. So let's just walk walk through this. Run this up. Enter two plus two. Okay. So, what in the world would we do with this? So we know about slicing, and we could come in and say slice this, then do this, perform this calculation, and this, and that would just be a horrible, horrible mess. Well, Python has something very interesting for us the eval function and let's just put it in here do a little reading another built-in function eval and the source global and locals um, and those are the arguments so let's just run this and see how it goes it's all right wrap your because just to remind you that this is going to be a string so this can process these items there we go source uh, be a string representation so just to remind you it can take strings and it understands that this is a digit even as a string and then what this symbol means so let's run this do this again. Let's get that cursor out of the way. Two plus two. Lo and behold, four. And then we can just keep calling because that's in memory. So two times two, four, and so on. So you can do this. And actually, I'm going to show you another way to, to even get this on another line. But um, uh, call cal again. And a divided by two turns it into a float we can do all kinds of rules like this so, okay right here we have it come down here we can even move this leave that X we can wrap this just like we've done on uh, taking our inputs and turn them into ints or floats we can wrap this on our input line so let's run this again and it automatically will do it for us. So we've wrapped, because this is a built-in function, so we just wrap our input and then our message. So if you, if you haven't seen it, the input video, make sure you go and watch that. But this is another built-in function from Python. Very, very, very handy. So uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the like or and subscribe button. Leave any comments or questions below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time, guys.